Hey, what's up, guys? Back again with another video. So this episode, we're going to be going over uh, the throws keyword, which is actually different from what we learned last episode, which was the throw keyword. This time, we're just adding S to the word throw, and that makes it different. So yeah, so um, to use the throws keyword, we have to understand um, how methods fit into all this. So we're going to make a separate class here. So class um, whale, OK? And um, so inside whale. Oops, I am bad at typing. Okay, so inside whale, we're going to have some random method, and we're going to call it, um, actually, it's going to be static void. So, I mean, you know what static means by now. So, static void, um, beep. I don't even know what to call it. I'm so dead right now. Um, oh, crap. Beep. I'm pretty sure whales don't beep, but there we go. So... Let's say that the, we can run this just fine, right? And um, so let's go ahead and do that. So we'll call whale dot beep. And that's how you do that with a static method, of course. So that should work perfectly and it should print out beep. OK, now let's say we add a exception here for some reason. We want to add a exception. So throw new null pointer exception. OK, and if you remember, this is actually one of the unchecked exceptions. So they're not checked at compile time. So, you know, Hopefully you know what that means by now. So that's going to run. We get an error. And why do we have an error? Oh, well, OK. So what, all we have to do is handle the exception, you know, like normal. We've already done this before. Pretty simple fix, right? All we got to do is handle it so it's not sent to the default handler and all this shit doesn't happen. So yeah, let's go ahead and handle that. So we'll do no pointer E. That's just what I'll call it, of course. And then we'll output E. Oh, crap. I keep using caps. And then we'll sow by past error. Okay, cool. So the error should go away because we're uh, now handling the error. And that's fine. So that's with, um, so now we know that um, it works with unchecked exceptions. But let's say for some reason, you know, some weird reason, I use a checked exception. And if you remember, one of the checks exce checked exceptions is class not found exception. Okay. So right off the bat, we get an error. And let's go ahead and run it for verification. Verification. And yeah, it just, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't even let you run it because, yeah, it's just, nope, not going to happen. So the problem is um, whenever you have a checked exception inside of your uh, methods, you have to add what's called the throws keyword here. And this just lets it know that um, your method might have one of these exceptions. So you would actually have more than one of these sometimes. So like you can have a list, you can have multiple. So like, let's see, what's another one? Uh, clone not supported exception so that we can add that one if we want to clone not support so we can add you know a bunch of them right so what you do with the throws keyword is basically add any exception that you think might be in your methods okay so that's what you do with that and make sure it's only with checked exceptions so yeah this is helpful to prevent you from terminating your program for no reason basically um, so yeah let's go ahead and change this and we should get a fix here so we should be able to run it, you know, because we're using the throws keyword now. Just trying to fix this class. Oh my gosh. There we go. So yeah, we changed it from no pointer to that one. And now everything uh, works because what we did is we added the throws here. So that works now. So the point is, whenever using checked exceptions inside of your methods, you have to add throws. And then if you think there's going to be... Um, a checked exception you just add it to here okay you can add as many as you want so yeah have fun with that if you liked it leave a like if you have any questions just leave a comment i'll help you we have a discord that's in the description um, if you want to see more subscribe and peace